everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Let's Primer Some Paper. This is the first time I've done this and the product that we're going to use to prime some paper is Liquitex Gesso. Now I've watched a couple of YouTube videos on gesso in panels or something I've never done when it comes to art and things like that. But this is like a primer that you can put down over surfaces. You put this down and then you can go in and paint on top of it. Now the reason why I'm going to do it on paper is I'm going to make some airbrush paper up. So we're going to do the gesso on the paper, let it dry, a couple of coats, and then you can sand this down with a very fine grade and make it really smooth. So when you do your airbrush painting on it, you can erase back and do your erasing on the paper. And you're not going to damage the actual paper underneath, you're just going to go straight onto the gesso. So that's the plan. I've done one piece already. I'll give you a little pen around and show you that, and then I'll take you for a demo of it. So that's the first coat on this, and I'm spraying this as well. Most people use brushes and things like that, but if you spray it, you get an absolute mint finish down. Really nice on there, and that's had one coat. So we'll let this dry. Apparently it dries down and the paper will sort of flatten out. We'll try it. If it's slightly ripple, when it's dried off, I can just press it back in the pad. The actual paper that I'm using is an A2 heavy cartridge paper. This is 220 grams. Just pick this one up. That pad is about 21 pound for the pad and the gesso, this works out to 16 pound for 946 milliliters. So all I've done is, is masked off the paper like that. I've set it up in the Devilbris uh, FLG 1.4, full fan, full fluid, and just dropping a coat of gesso down. So it seemed to be working okay. I've got some projects coming up that I'm gonna do some painting on, so I'll take you through and we'll see what this is like. As I say, I'm gonna give this a couple of coats on each piece. It goes a long way, you can thin it out. I've thinned it, so I've gone like 15% reducer, which is water, so you just thin it down. And it seems to be spraying absolutely spot on. So I stick it on the tripod and let's get gesso in. See you in a bit. Excuse the noise, I've got the heat on here just drying this paper down. And it is sort of like distorting very slightly, but if it's drying, it is going down a lot flatter. The first one that I did, which was this one, is dried out really nice, nice and flat. And you've got a nice, clean, even, smooth surface. Because we've sprayed this, a lot of people use paint brushes to put gesso down or they'll put like a big blob of gesso down and then they'll like palette knife it over and then like sort of flat squeegee blade it off. But I think this is the smoothest way you will get this stuff down is to spray it. And it went through the Devilbris 1.4. I thinned it just 10% with distilled water. Gave it a good mix and it sprayed it, not a problem at all. We sprayed it about 1.5 bar and it's gone down on this paper silky smooth so this one's had three coats one coat two coats that one's had one i think as well but you can see the build on this when you look from the original paper and then you've got the gesso layer you've got that build quality on it so it's a first trial for me guys with this stuff uh, it's apparently good stuff the liquitex one gesso is probably one of the best so we'll give it a go with some airbrush work on this. Once these are fully cured down, I'm gonna flat these out if they need flattening anymore. And then we'll try some airbrushing on it. I've got some pictures that are coming up. It's gonna be called the Ink Series. So it's a load of black and white pictures with drops of color in. And these ones are all gonna get framed 
and then go down to my friend's tattoo studio. So they're tattoo based. That's why the pictures are called Ink. So enjoy the videos that are coming up, guys. These will be the first four. There's five in the Ink series coming up. They're all portraits. And it'll be just nice to see what this looks like to paint on. So thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe, press that notification. I'll leave a link in the description to the Liquitex Gesso if you want to pick some up and give it a try for yourself. Yeah, and that's about it. So we'll wrap this one up. See you in the next one, guys. Cheers.